just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. The people he was speaking up for turned out to be alleged victims of T.D. Jakes's not so pretty side. You'd be quick to doubt it, but taking a look at the man's history makes it a little difficult to contend. T.D. Jakes was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. What? That Puff Daddy helped. He's sitting right there, oh, T.D. Snakes. <laughs> Even someone who's been at those parties was shocked at the news of a public preacher showing up there. The rumors surrounding, you know, D.D. and T.D. Jakes. Why would a religious man like himself be at a party which is ain't nothing but sin that's going And it's not just his bodyguard that feels that way. Other people in the entertainment industry with insider knowledge say he's much worse than he appears to the world. See, they're up in another uh, hemisphere than regular too. They're very insulated. They can do what they want. They got people on. It's not every day you get to see famous preachers in the headlines. And in most cases, when you do see them, it's usually for something related to their message. Over the past couple of weeks, T.D. Jakes has gone against this expected tide of people in his line of work, as the famed bishop has been wrapped up in some rather unusual news. Now, his media appearances have taken an even worse direction, with his name making the news right next to allegations of arrest. I mean, unlike most preachers, Jakes is actually no stranger to being the center of media attention. His church growth over the years, coupled with his involvement with several successful figures in the entertainment industry, has earned him an almost unshakable spot in society. And you know what comes with that kind of success? Fame. Well, it seems his messages aren't the only thing he's famous for. As recent news reports are saying, the man might not exactly be a follower of his own message. There are successful theologists in the world, and then there are people like Bishop T.D. Jakes, who seem to have figured out a way to bridge the gap between the entertainment community, particularly the hip-hop scene, and biblical messages. Not only has the man been involved with several high-profile figures both within and outside the black community, but his reach even spans into the international scene. However, like many people religious leader alike, Jakes has constantly faced criticism for his associations with several high-net-worth individuals that most people consider sketchy. The preacher, however, has always let those claims fly right over his head, as he never seemed to pay any mind to people he believed were against him, until now. These days, we're finding out that Jakes might not exactly be the sinless saint many people have thought him to be through the years. See, the thing with getting caught up in controversy after controversy in a world that is ruled by headlines is that at one point or the other, those controversies start to cast a shadow on anything you might be involved in. This was somewhat the story with Jakes, as people started to question whether the bishop might not have been entirely innocent of the claims that have been coming out against him. The fury of this fire became even more intense after not just one, but two people recently came out to admit that they individually had dark experiences involving the preacher being inappropriate with them while they were younger. In an unexpected twist of fate, the preacher's own son also happened to be caught up in a situation that made people more open to believing the recent allegations about him. He might have been caught up in more dire situations in the past, but the timing of these stories couldn't possibly be worse for him. You may not even know anything about the message he preaches, but there's almost no chance you haven't heard anything about T.D. Jakes. And while his church might be the main thing that brought him to the center of the media, there have been several other news reports that have kept him there. Some are more unexpected than you'd think, as was the case with the news about his son. Per a Dallas police reports, the son of T.D. Jakes, the Dallas megachurch pastor who's called Homo S a brokenness and declared that he would never hire a S active gay person, was arrested in a gay S sting in Keys Park a while back. Jermaine Donald Jakes faced a charge of indecent exposure after allegedly exposing himself in front of two undercover vice detectives. Senior CPL Janice Crowther, a DPD spokeswoman, confirmed at the time that the detectives were both male. According to the arrest affidavit, the detectives were investigating a citizen complaints of S activity when they observed Jakes and several other unknown males park their vehicles in the lot east of the park. The detectives followed Jakes into a wooded area, where he approached them with his exposed through his unzipped pants, the affidavit stated. Jake's M for several seconds while making eye contact with one of the detectives. The famous bishop's son did not attempt to conceal his despite people walking and jogging on a trail nearby, according to the affidavit. 
Court records say Jermaine Jakes listed his place of employment as TD Jakes Ministries, which most people considered strange because of the situation, but Jakes was later released at the scene after being detained. For those who may not be aware, T.D. Jakes is the founder of the Potter's House, a 30000 member church in South Dallas. The contrast to this story is that the preacher is a vocal opponent of same-s marriage. He's even been criticized by HIV-AIDS activists for undermining the prevention of the disease by stigmatizing homo -S and drug use. Yet here's his son literally getting caught with his pants down. On same-s marriage, Jakes once told USA Today, to date, I have not seen scriptural authority that allows me to stand on behalf of God and say I now pronounce you husband and husband and wife and wife. This is an issue the government is undecided about. The Bible is not. Jermaine Jake's attorney, Faith Johnson, issued a written statement the following week. We are aware of potential allegations involving Jermaine Jakes and are undertaking our own investigation of these allegations at this time, the statement said. Given an apparent government investigation, we have no further comment at this time. While it's already sketchy enough that his son was caught up in a rather unusual scandal, the preacher may also soon have to address SA allegations in court after one of his former mentees, Manasseh Jordan, stated in a recent video that victims of the alleged power bottom bishop are preparing to sue him. Remember when I said there were claims against him? This is exactly what I was referring to. Two of the offenders were not only a victim of grooming, as what I described, but of SA. Manasseh Jordan, a former mentee of Bishop T.D. Jakes, who claimed that the prominent Dallas pastor groomed him, stated that more victims have come forward and he has spoken with them. It is no secret that Manasseh Jordan probably once laid his head upon Bishop T.D. Jakes' shoulders, as we've seen in the photo floating around, with Diddy's head resting on the shoulders of the Black Pope. It seems like Manasseh has finally found a way to escape from the hands of the enemy and is now using his platform to help other victims. In a video posted by Manasseh on December 30th, he discussed the new victims who have come forward against Bishop T.D. Jakes. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that, it's just a lot to talk about, that experienced the same thing that I experienced, Manasseh said in the video. Today I've heard from two other victims that, so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. Manassie alleges that two victims he spoke with were allegedly groomed and S.A.ed by Bishop T.D. Jakes. Elsewhere in the video, Manasseh alleged that the two victims he spoke with talked to him about the G allegedly carried out by Bishop T.D. Jakes. He said the victims told him that Bishop Jakes had also allegedly to them. Two of the offenders were not only a victim of G as what I described in some of my previous videos, but of S.A. S. Assault, Manasseh Jordan said, from the same predator that groomed me and violated me as a man. They're going to be pressing charges. From the same predator that groomed me. It's one thing to be openly against gay people. It's another thing for your son to be caught up in that very web you hate. But it's an entirely different story for you to be caught up in those very stories you so boldly stand against, wouldn't you agree? Even more so when there is a very obviously large possibility of it leading to a full-on legal battle. Well, seeing Manasseh's video struck a chord in a lot of people, as several of them took to social media to talk about his revelation on the preacher. One person wrote, Manasseh was so close to bursting into tears, I think he would have if he spoke any longer. He may say he's not a victim, I think he was a victim, or came close to becoming one. Sad. Another person who was more focused on the people supporting the alleged assaulter added, I've seen and experienced this firsthand. His breakdown gave me chills. The spell over followers who worship these men and women as gods must be broken. Of course, the entire truth of this story is yet to be revealed, and while you could judge these people for reaching these conclusions without the entire story, T.D. Jakes hasn't exactly had a clean slate, even before these recent allegations. Only a couple of weeks back, the preacher was caught up in a situation involving a rapper. Let's just say that didn't help his credibility one bit. It's no secret that social media has become a dynamic platform where personalities rise to fame, trends emerge and dissipate, and controversies take center stage. The recent case involving famed cleric T.D. Jakes and rap mogul P. Diddy is a testament to this bustling online arena. T.D. Jakes, who at this point needs no introduction, found himself in the social media limelight, not for his religious teachings but for his alleged association with P. Diddy. 
The unusual alliance between these two contrasting figures has ignited a barrage of speculation and conspiracy theories. Although Diddy, aka Sean Combs, is no stranger to controversy, this recent revelation adds a fresh twist to the rapper's already controversial image. At the heart of the online commotion tied to these major figures are a series of allegations made by TikTok influencer Mai Shia. A viral video in which she made allegations about Diddy's past relationship with former partner Cassie, including physical and SA claims, happens to be at the center. Among the startling revelations were tales of wild S parties allegedly thrown by Diddy, where T.D. Jakes was rumored to be a frequent guest. Further fueling the fire, the video also hinted at a covert phone belonging to Diddy's late ex-girlfriend Kim Porter, a death that was already been wrapped in mystery and conjecture, with Diddy's name in the front lines. This explosive video took the internet by storm, with fans in shock, particularly concerning Bishop Jakes's alleged participation in these questionable activities. As soon as word of his alleged involvement with Diddy hit the media, several fans started to jump on the conversation, and one user even mentioned that this is only where it begins. They wrote, This is just the beginning of what is about to unfold about T.D. Jakes Ministries. There are a lot of skeletons in his closet as well as how the ministry was run as well. Jake's attending many of P. Diddy parties is just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned for more as it unfolds. Following the accusations against him and the slew of backlash that followed it on social media, the preacher appeared to have responded to the claims. During a recent service at his church that was streamed on YouTube, Jake's used his sermon to seemingly clear the air over the allegations, which he deemed completely false. Now I'm gonna close with this. I ain't come to convince you or nobody. Because I know who I am. I didn't come to convince you or nobody because I know who I am, an emotional Jake said. That is not what this is about. You can think about whatever you want to think. I came to do my job. I came to prophesis as I was commanded. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. While nothing has been outrightly confirmed yet, Jakes's colorful controversy-shrouded history makes it difficult to pick his side on this. But maybe some undeniable evidence will come up and exonerate him, who knows? That's it for this video, goodbye.